mum will want my mum will want to see you. Yeah. Okay. Roger, how do you like it here? Yeah. ...has reached into its own diverse character to arrange the public mourning. When the funeral begins in London, the City Hall clock bell tower will toll once a minute for an hour a special mark of this community's grief. John Thorne, BBC News, Bradford. It could be anywhere in this United Kingdom, but at the heart of its most divided corner, Belfast, now there's a unity. Here, where royalty affirms the Britishness of the Protestant community and provides a focus of nationalist opposition to British rule, the Princess has pulled those two groups together in a way I haven't ever witnessed. 
it won't affect long-term political affiliation, but the princess managed uniquely to bridge the divide. At the face of the crowd, Lord Fitt, once Republican Socialist MP for West Belfast, paying her that compliment in his hometown. I think she came across as someone who took on the establishment and done her own thing, and I think that appeals to young people on both sides of the peace line here. And not just to the young on either side of that line. She was sad with the people of Northern Ireland, you know, with all the things that happened, like, you know, with everybody on both sides, like, I mean, there was tragedy to happen on both sides. She was just there for us all the time. And it doesn't stop at the border. The British Embassy in Dublin, besieged by flowers. The like of this just has not happened before in the lifetime of this young independent nation and its young people. As an ambassador, you see a great many things, and I've been a diplomat for, for 30 years. I've never seen anything quite like this kind of outpouring. And in our closest neighbour country, the one country with which we have a land border, it, it is most, most touching. The princess will be buried in the grounds of her ancestral home. Full coverage. public function, it's the, the work is destiny of these young men and they understand it and here they are carrying it out superbly well. So flowers have been brought to place there, the person, whoever it is, gives it to, there was Harry, he's going back for some more, uh, and they give it to the He's going back the to ask where, where they want him to put it. Oh, oh that's that's right. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then they place it. In a, in a way it's the sort of the prince is carrying out the public's wish. Mm -hmm. Please put these flowers down, sir. And reading read every message there very carefully. We've seen these pictures. And those of you who've been with us earlier will have seen these pictures already, but aren't they extraordinary? I love the hand casually in the pocket like that. No point telling a boy, hands out of your pocket, son. I don't, they don't ever listen when you say that, do they? Absolutely not. Ron, Alison, you were saying a good preparation, if that's the right word, for, for tomorrow for the boys. Yes, I think that um, they will think later on tonight, if they're not already doing so, um, that um, they will be able to face tomorrow all the, all the more easily, if that's the right word, um, but with uh, greater confidence there because of this experience this afternoon, it would have been, I think, very, very difficult to suddenly emerge tomorrow into this sort of situation, not that they would have been shaking hands with people and, and, and doing this as, as the uh, procession made its way to the Abbey, or, but uh, this must have uh, reassured them of the feelings of, of everybody for them, of the sympathy that there is there, of the love that there is there, and, it, and there is... And it, now flying proud above Buckingham Palace and remains at full mast because the monarch is in residence. It will of course be replaced tomorrow by the Union flag which will fly at half mast during Princess Diana's funeral. It's sometimes asked, been frequently asked in the last few days, why can't the Royal Standard fly at half mast and the answer is it is symbolizes a living monarch and if the monarch was to die another monarch takes over straight away so the flag never comes down. Yes, we are never without a sovereign. The phrase, the king is dead long with the king, sums that up. And in fact, um, the queen in her own uh, time of accession to the throne, um, she was queen for some time before she actually um, 
knew that she was, her father having died um, in his uh, sleep overnight while she and uh, Prince Philip were on a tour overseas. I think that I picture from, again, those, those flowers outside all of house. This, of course, now where the princess will be buried. Some, some developments on that today. Nicholas. Yes, a, a change. They're going, she's going to be buried. It's on an island amid ornamental gardens, I think is the, the, the phrase that was used. They've, they've changed that. It's not the family chapel anymore. Um, she will have her own special resting place. There is talk of a monument outside, roughly in the spot you're watching at now, I would think. And they do say, the, the Spencer family say that they will be opening these gardens several times a year so that people can pay their respects to the princess for all the years that are to come. But Earl Spencer, the princess's brother, was clearly concerned about the number of people that would be attracted to Great Britain if she had been buried in the family church, where, of course, her father is in many generations of the Spencers' lie. The, the church, in this case, being outside the... Um, the park, the, the, the estate around the house and uh, in the village itself. I think that's a, a very wise decision um, and uh, this island on in the middle of an ornamental lake is apparently somewhere where the, the princess spent a lot of time as a little girl. She played there and um, the members of the public, as Nick has just said, will be um, welcomed uh, into, the, uh, into the grounds. Um, at various times during the, the year. But Ron being controlled in that way, of course, the princes can go there for mm. some time, some quiet time, yeah. moments of contemplation without being interrupted. Yes, indeed. And not only the princes, of course. I mean, we've, right from the beginning, the, the, the Buckingham Palace have been stressing that all the arrangements that are being made for tomorrow and throughout this week, taking into account very, very much, and indeed putting first the wishes of the princess's family, Earl Spencer and his sisters, and of course, Mrs. Shan Kidd, and the princess's mother. Well, Nick, it should be pointed out, this is a shot that we won't be seeing tomorrow at uh, the Earl Spencer's and, and the Spencer family's request. Oh, well, I'm not sure whether we, we might, I suppose, be at the gates, I'm not certain, but we certainly won't go any further than that. Um, the Earl Spencer has asked for total privacy for the burial, and um, that, of course, is being completely respected. This is the, uh, all Thorpe is 77 miles outside of London. The funeral cortege will make its way there up the M1 motorway. I mean, it's worth saying at, at, at this point, I think, that to, for people in London who aren't going to be able to get to, to um, anywhere near Westminster Abbey or the Palace or St. James's Palace. Ron, just, on, just to point out to people, we're just crossing back now to Buckingham Palace. And the crowd's absorbing what has just happened a few minutes ago in front of them, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh arriving back. Uh, this, this, I think, is the Queen, the Chief of Edinburgh. I'm not sure... They're leaving they're Buckingham leaving, Palace. They're leaving Buckingham Palace. To, to go to St. James's Palace. James's Palace, where, of course, Prince Charles and Princess William and Harry are already there. So a very brief stop there, Ron Allison. Yes, uh, not long uh, on this occasion. And across to, to the palace, uh, St. James's Palace, where they will be able to pay their respects in private to Diana, Princess of Wales. Any rugby tickets, please? You want boarding at rugby, please? Yeah. Thank you. Rugby tickets, please. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Customers Who Join at Rugby Station. This is 1605 Venture Train to London Station. Our next station stop will be Milton King Central in approximately 26 minutes time. Thank you.